Hi everyone, this is Ronnie. I'm one of your Neuro One TAs, and um, I want to go over a subject that might be a little confusing to some of you. Um, I've invented kind of a story to make it a little easier on help um, and to help you understand. And um, before we get started, I want to stress that I have Tourette syndrome, which is a neurological condition that causes me to make noise um, and body movements. But if you hear any noises during the video and you're not sure what they are, um, please disregard them. Um, they're unintentional. Anyway, so let's get started. Um, this, so the pen is behaving a little weird because it's recording and it's kind of lagging behind, but I'll do the best I can, so bear with me, please. Anyway, so we're gonna get onto the system and it's called the phospho inositide. inositide system and the basic gist is this that you have to know for the exam especially so there's a neurotransmitter um, whatever neurotransmitter it is doesn't really matter it binds to this receptor it binds to this receptor called the G protein coupled receptor right and that's in the postsynaptic membrane the G protein Sorry about that. Um, the G protein coupled receptor will activate a G protein, obviously. Um, so this, this particular G protein is called GQ. And it's composed of three subunits. The alpha, the beta, and the gamma. All right, so when the neurotransmitter binds, GQ is activated. The alpha subunit will actually dissociate from the mem uh, from the beta gamma subunits and will participate in what's known as a GDP to GTP guanosine triphosphate exchange. The alpha subunit becomes loaded with GTP and is now activated. So what's going to happen is the alpha subunit will activate this enzyme known as phospho lipase C or PLC. Phospholipase C will then participate in an enzymatic reaction and it will take this um, this molecule known as PIP2 um, which is a really null name it's phosphotidyl inositol diphosphate and it's going to take PIP2 and cleave it literally just break the bonds and cleave it into two smaller compounds. The first is DAG or diacylglycerol, and the second is IP3 or inositide trisphosphate, I believe. I'm not sure. So DAG is actually membrane bound, right? So it's actually in the membrane and it'll activate a protein kinase known as protein kinase C. Remember that protein kinases add phosphate groups to proteins and they will eat, uh, change their conformation and it will change their level of activity, either activating it or deactivating it. On the other hand, IP3 is a soluble, um, is not membrane bound, and it, is, um, it floats into the cytosol and it will bind to a receptor, especially for IP3, and it will bind to this receptor and this receptor is located in a organelle known as the smooth ER or the endoplasmic reticulum. The smooth ER is a calcium store so when IP3 binds it opens calcium channels and calcium will all of a sudden rush out. Calcium after rushing out um, will, will bind so let's say this is a calcium ion, will bind to another protein known as calmodulin. Um, calmodulin, or simply CAM. And this will activate a, uh, this complex will activate a kind of protein kinase known as the CAM kinase or calmodulin dependent protein kinase. So there are different subtypes of this, but we will not get into it. So 
first thing to know is that PKC is activated and ultimately Cam K is activated. So that's the pathway. You can pause this video here if you want to go over and kind of um, reiterate this pathway in your head. Uh, I'm going to move on and talk about a mnemonic or a story that can be used to kind of it's a story uh, to kind of make memorizing this a little easier. And I kind of made up the story. It's a little silly story, but here it goes. So think of the um, the toughest guy that you know, and let's call him Alpha for Alpha Male, right? And that kind of corresponds to the G protein, um, the G protein that activates the other stuff. So Alpha, Alpha sees this kid um, named Pip. He sees this kid named Pip, and Pip is holding this giant dagger, right? So Alpha says, oh no, you're ho um, there's this kid holding a dagger just walking around. So he says, I'm going to call the police, or Phospholipase C. So he calls the police, and Pip realizes he's calling the police, so he gets all nervous, and he throws his dagger away. He throws his dagger away in DAG, and that's D-A-G for dagger or diacylglycerol. And this dagger hits this guy named Paul, named Paul, in in the eye. He hits him right in the eye. And now Paul is like screaming in pain, and he's like, oh my gosh, I can't see protein kinase C. So, Pip is still back at the scene, and he's nervous. So, you know... When you get nervous, you kind of your bladders get moving and your bowels like are turning inside out, and um, his bladder is really bothering him. So he's like, "I need to go pee, I pee three. So he says, "I need to pee," and the closest thing to him is a hospital. So he goes into the emergency room, ER or endoplasmic reticulum, and he goes relieve himself. And after he's done relieving himself, he flushes the toilet and out comes the calcium. So that's just a little silly story that, you know, might help you memorize the the pathway a little better. Obviously, it's not perfect. Um, I just made it up kind of on the spot. So it, ha it doesn't include things like the 2 and PIP2 or the E3 and IP3. But, you know, this is just like the foundation and the backbone of what you need to know. So hopefully, you know, you get an idea of the... Um, the pathway and hopefully this will help memorizing it just a little bit is easier if you do have any questions however I strongly suggest that you either visit my website as I have open office hours or um, contact me directly via email so we can kinda set up a time to meet I will I posted um, here's my website um, my website and my email address so feel free to pause this video and take it down um, I'm sure many of you know my website already, but in case you don't, here it is. It's very helpful. At least I think so. So yeah, I hope this makes it a little easier. You can definitely contact me, and best of luck on the exam. Bye.